Hello, House of Prayer family. This is Sharon, and I'm here for the daily prayer request and the praise reports. I don't have any of the prayer requests today. Um, I also don't have anybody saying that they committed themselves to God, but there's always today, you know, because we keep on fishing. We're fishers of men. But I want to tell you about Heather Gravel. Now, she wrote to me several days ago saying that she was having a difficult time um, with faith in God because of the fact that she had given to the church and her bills were not taken care of like, you know, they would have been if she'd had faith in God. And, but she was a new Christian. And so I just wanted to bring that up so that it familiar you with what was going on. And she wrote today about the video of God of Miracles. And she wrote, I love this. Over the weekend, I was thinking about the previous videos regarding my situation. The word from God really set me straight. I was giving money to my church because I had friends on the church board and didn't want them to think I was cheap. How stupid. I told my unbelieving husband that I am no longer his sport-watching buddy. I am spending more time with God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He took it very well. I told him, I told God that I am putting all my trust in Him and leaving it all decisions up to Him. I feel a great weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And so she's so happy about that. Let me see. It says read more. Oh, she starts a new job tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy for you, Heather. Praise the Lord. See what happens when you start walking on faith, all of your situations turn like miracles overnight. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And so I do have um, some updates on the House of Prayer. Now, I have bad news about the outside, and that's because it's been pouring down raining since early, early, early this morning. And so I couldn't get out there to um, power wash the porch. And, of course, I couldn't get out there to do any painting. So um, I've had other business to take care of the new House of Prayer Safe Haven number two. Um, got that order today. And that total ticket is being taken care of by our special benefactor, who we love, 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 and who will remain nameless because we don't want our treasures on earth. We want to store them up in heaven. So you know who you are, and God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And I know that it was all going to be taken care of today, but um, having difficulty getting in touch with the people this afternoon, and I don't know if that was taken care of, but I'm sure as soon as it is, I will receive an email or a text or a phone call telling me um, that it's been done. And tomorrow, because, you know, I sold the car and we put the money in the bank on Friday night, but we can't use any of the money until tomorrow. So tomorrow, when we do get some of the money released to us, we will be able to pay off building number one, which is <laughs> a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So that will be completely gone. Um, so I can't wait to finish the front porch and the railings and the, the um, stain on the porch and the steps and painting the railings and all of that. So I'm very, very excited. Um, sounds like a lot of work, but I'm very excited about doing it. And I can't wait to take pictures of it all once it's complete. 
Now, the only thing after this is, of course, I told you yesterday that I don't have anybody to put the windows, the wood around the windows for a while. I mean, Sean did say he would come back, but it might not be until the new building is here. But at least the lumber is paid for and downstairs. So, that's the total update about that. So, I want to read this prayer again today. Dear Father, I now believe that Jesus Christ is your only begotten Son, that he came down to our earth in the flesh and died on the cross to take away all of our sins and the sins of the world. I believe that Jesus Christ then rose from the dead on the third day to give us eternal life. Lord Jesus, I now confess to you all the wrong and sinful things I have ever done in my life. I ask that you please forgive me and wash away all of my sins by the blood that you have personally shed for me on the cross. I am now ready to accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I now ask that you come into my life and live with me for all eternity. Father Jesus, I now believe that I am truly saved and born again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, family. Such magnificent things are happening for the house of prayer and for the people that truly believe. I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying... For the ones that truly believe in that we are seeing miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle take place in our lives. God wants to perform miracles in every one of your lives. Every one. All we have to do is step out on faith. Just say the sinner's prayer if you're not saved. And let me know so I can guide you into becoming a mature Christian and ready for the harvest fields. Praise the Lord. I can't wait for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for your support that you've been given to me emotionally, mentally, <laughs> spiritually. I really, really, really appreciate it so much. And the ones that have given to the house of prayer financially. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord for you. Praise all that you do. And like that one person that got a, a 100 fold uh, return on her investment the very next day, less than 24 hours after it went out, I'm praying a hundred fold return to every person that donates even a penny that we can get the supplies for the safe haven praise the lord thank you guys i love you so much amen